Really? Really, Zach? You got to be kidding me. <laughs> Dealers to Nissan stores abruptly close ahead of floor plan lender lawsuit. This is some of the shady crap that goes yeah. on in this industry. Two Stephanie Morris Nissan dealerships, one each in Missouri and Colorado, abruptly closed this fall, and the dealer and her companies now face at least three lawsuits. What happened here, you might ask? Well, Dad, in a Missouri federal court lawsuit filed November 6th, floor plan lender Equity Bank is attempting to recoup more than $2.5 million in unpaid loans from the Colorado and Missouri stores and, the Morris, and from Morris and her husband, who personally guaranteed loans up to $3 million. What happened here, Dad, is the bank determined 75 vehicles being used as collateral were missing. $1.8 yeah. million dollars in vehicles just not to be found. This stuff can happen, man. And this is a huge, really, you got to be kidding me. Not only can it happen, it happens all the time. It's, it's, it's you know, where the dealer doesn't have the cash to pay off the floor plan on the vehicle that was sold. And so... Once a month, the lender comes in and they do a floor plan check. And, um, you know, I, I used to always look forward to those days because I knew that there was going to be an hour of my day where the, the floor plan checker was going to come into my office and say, okay, uh, this VIN number, where's this car? Where's this car? You know, oh, well, that's somebody's demo. Okay, can we have them bring it in so I can see the demo? Um, uh, that's out on a test drive. Good. I need the picture of the, what, I, and you'd have to, that's at the body shop and you'd have to figure out where each one of the cars was. Um, because you're only given X amount of time from when you sell it to your ultimate retail customer to when you have to pay it off with the lender. They, they don't want to keep lending you money on a vehicle that isn't there anymore. They want to get paid for having lent you that money. Um, you know, and it turns out that I have worked for dealers. Now, I wasn't there when it happened, but oh, I had yeah. worked at this at this dealer um, where, uh, after I had left, uh, they were having some great difficulty, the uh, cash flow issues, and they were unable. They were out of trust. They they were unable to pay off the vehicle. Bless you. They were unable. Bless you again. They were unable to pay off the vehicles once they sold them. Um, and they got sued, and yes, the dealer ends up having to sell the dealerships. Um, now, if you and your husband have personally guaranteed up to $3 million worth of that, well, um, yeah, I guess they're going to be in for a, a little bit of hurt, but what the hell? Well, I mean, what the hell? <laughs> they're not only being sued, Dad, by the floor plan bank. They're also yeah. being sued by one of their um, uh, extended warranty or vehicle service contract companies that they worked with, as well as their prior floor manager for the dealership as well. The uh, Mechanical Breakdown Protection Incorporated, uh, Mechanical Breakdown Protection Incorporated, is uh, seeking three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, and the floor manager is suing them for unpaid wages. So this just seems like a perfect example. Of it starts at the top. Shady, oh, yeah. bad, illegal crap starts at the top. Okay. And this is a dealership. Thank goodness they're no longer in business. It's a shame that people got defrauded here and hopefully they get yeah. caught, you know, and, and, uh, oh. and justice is served. But holy crap, man. When people like this own these operations, no wonder, you know, no wonder customers end up getting screwed in situations. It's because the owners are bad people. Like, there's no justification for what these people did to the banks, the insurance company. And their staff. That's terrible. Well, you know, they're 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 bad or shady business people. Um, they they are not watching everything that they need to watch, or they are or they are taking out more money from the business than they should um, for their own personal gain. Uh, you know, I, I won't say it's for a yacht because, well, you're in Missouri, um, you know, in, in Colorado, I, you know, but for whatever it is that they want and. Yeah, some some it's like anything. Some people abuse their positions of authority when they have a business or something to run, and and it happens. It's un, it's unfortunate, um, you know. Well, a well run automobile dealership can make a lot of money, okay, but it has to be well run. It has to be well managed. It 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 it, it all starts. It all starts with inventory management and um, keeping your eye on the small stuff.
you know, and, because if, if if you're keeping your eye on the small stuff, that the big stuff will take care of itself. And uh, having character and moral values that I think well, you know, that that helps. Missing. No, totally missing that, that uh, other it, example. It, it's 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 inconceivable to me. <laughs> oh my! 